hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add these four animations to our player we don't have the punching system for now and also we don't have the shooting system so we will just add these basic animations so open up the player script and above we need a reference to our animator so after this gravity let's add a public animator by the name of animator but the a will be small okay now let's just scroll down to the player move function inside this if condition in where we allow the player to walk and move around right here we will say animator dot set bool and we will set the idle bool to false because as you can see this is the walking section okay so when we are walking we want to set the idle to false and we want to set the walk to true so for that we will do the same but we will change the text to walk and the condition to true and when we are walking we want the running to be false and also we want the rifle walk and the idle aim to be false as well and then after this if condition let's add a else condition right here and this else condition will be for the idle situation when we are not moving then we want to play the idle animation so for that what we will do simply copy this paste it down below and set the idle to true and then set the walk to false and as you know when we are in the idle state the running will be false as well so make sure to do that and let me show you the animator right here we did that right here okay as you can see when we want to walk then we set the walk to true and when we don't want to walk we want to set the walk to false and the player will walk like that and then the player will stop as you can see and this idle walk running these are the parameters which we have added right here we can set it to true and false true and false like that okay by using this script as you can see right here we set the pool idle to true and right here we set it to false so this is just basic animation implementation and every unity developer knows how animation works in unity okay after the walking let's add the sprinting or you can say the running animations so right here inside this if condition what we want to say when we are running then we want the walk to be false and we run into the true okay and then add a else condition and inside this else it means that when we are not running so when we are not running we are then walking so let's set the walk to true and the run into false now after the running let's add the jumping animation so in the if condition when we are jumping then we want the idle to be false and as you know our jump is a trigger so this time we will use the set trigger and we will set the trigger which is by the name of jump inside our animator and when we are done jumping then in the else block what we will do we will simply set the idle to true and then we will reset the trigger so reset trigger and the trigger name is jump okay so this was an easy pro process for adding the animations using script so it has been done now let's save this get back to unity right here let me just move down this animator there okay so that we can see how the animation changes when we do certain things
but first of all click on the player and open up this player script right here we need to drag and drop the animator in there that's it and actually let me move this like that okay and you guys will notice that when we play the game our player will be in the idle this will be true as you can see it is playing the idle animation and this is set to true let me walk and as you can see now the walk is true and the walk animation is being played you will not see it because of the animator window but now you can see that it is now set to true and the walk and the player is walking now let's run and as you can see the running is set to true now if we jump as you can see the player is jumping okay now let me just add that there now we know the animations work let me come inside this game view let's maximize it and you will notice that when we press w button now as you can see it plays this beautiful walking animation now let's jump and you can notice our player is jumping now let's uh, run so if we hold down the shift button and w button now as you can see our player is running as you can see and now when we want to walk we are walking okay so basic animations can be now played as you can see our player can rotate around really beautifully as you can see so in this way you can add animations to your character with this done now the next thing is that we will be adding the shooting functionality to our player and also the punching functionality okay so with this done catch you guys in the next one